Well, hello, here we are again. Another one take wonder. This one is of number 202, Ingenious. So, just finished. This one's being handed over on Monday. And they're taking it for their shakedown cruise. So, yeah. Left the Torno cover on. I think we've got some rain due later, so... We've left that on. So yeah, lovely colours. Solar, it's got six six one twenties on it. And that just keeps the boat running. In the summer, you yeah, it, it uh, keeps the batteries tip top condition. A usual gap underneath. Air gap. They work better. Uh, plank and pole is in the paint bay actually just had a final coat on so that will go on on Monday and this one's got the um, full drop back windows in uh, in the saloon and the galley and then the normal porthole full openers on the rest of it it's got a cratch with a one piece glass So plenty of view out of there. We've got the storage locker because this one's a hybrid as well. So no gas on board. Storage locker. Plenty of storage in there. And then we've got our usual bow thruster compartment, which I'm sure you've all seen before. That's where the bow thruster and the batteries live. And these are lockable as well now. Little locks on there. Just spin them round. Right, let's pop in. Right. Just take my shoes off. Just to give it a final clean through. So. I don't want to get the floor dirty, as Donna will shout at me. Let's pop them there. Yeah, so this is a mid-galley layout. Um, a conventional layout, I suppose you'd call it. So yeah, nice big windows. From channel glaze. Double glazed, obviously. Um, we've got the reflex stove, diesel stove from Lockgate. So most popular one, storage steps, uh, upgraded rads, of course the sofa from Sofa Bed Barn, this is a little six foot, six foot six I think this one is, um, still folds out as a bed, so you've got your storage underneath, and it's got the Roman blinds on it as well, which look really nice, and they, you've probably seen in a video before, I've got a metal bar in that just clips to that magnet to hold them tight against the the side of the boat and then these are on little magnets as well little tie backs they're a lot neater than the than the hooks yep so it's got a white painted sides white painted ceiling so nice and light and airy uh breakfast bar so no dinette in this one so lots of room uh, we've got the stalls aren't here yet. The customers are bringing those on Monday. Integrated. That's our usual integrated indesit. And that's a washer and a dryer. Uh, we've got the carbine floor, which is lovely. It's got the little coffee strip in between. I'm sure, you've seen that on pretty much all our other boats. It's a really nice floor. And it goes well, colour wise, it just matches everything. The size, the ash, the oak. And it's got a lot of character in it. And of course, if you've got dogs, it's absolutely perfect. No claw scratching it. Uh, this one's got all the undergunnel lights as well. Just the warm white on this one. Uh, here we go. That's got that throughout the boat. And then, of course, we've got our lift outs. 
double glazed units. The usual setup. Solid granite worktops. I think this one's the steel grey. Um, this granite. A usual 30mm thick. Because weight on the narrow boat is not really that much of an issue. So all electric cooking. That's a hide and slide. Which is the one everybody wants. And the two zone nef hob induction hob which is really popular take up no room at all and you can get three pans on there um, plenty of sockets all around and then we've actually got a slimline worktop this time this side got a usual tin cupboard still no wine rack on this one um, but it just means you've got all this this width in the in the galley which makes a hell of a lot of difference. So you can be, someone can be in here cooking, washing up, preparing food, whatever, and you can still walk past, no problem whatsoever. You almost get the benefit of a, a U-shaped galley with this. Um, print lights that light up. So at night with the undergunnels on and the plinth lights, really nice. Oh, oh there you go. We'll switch separately. Lots of storage on this. Huge cupboards. This one's a cupboard under the breakfast bar as well. Obviously the washing machines in that corner. And then we've got nice pull out units. Unit that side. Putting your little spices in or whatever. And then a nice big cupboard under the sink everything soft close as well as per usual and then a nice full set of drawers there drawer pack pretty much knives and forks cutlery in the top one and then you can get pans pots plates and whatnot in the bottom and this one has actually got full-size freezer And a full size fridge. And then we've got our usual push button microwave. All Neff stuff. So, yeah, everything's 240 because we're hybrid. We can make use of that. Massive amounts of power. Uh, this one's got the little extractor fan in the mushroom vent. which just helps with any steaming that you create when you're cooking. So standard tap, uh, standard stainless undermount sink, which fits just right in there. But yeah, lots of room in this galley. It's a lovely galley, this. And then, of course, we've got more storage up here. Nice big cupboards. So nice size galley, big galley, and a nice size saloon as well. And then the bathroom is actually a foot bigger than uh, normal. So it's a big bathroom, this one. Lots of room. That's our usual uh, standard tap, standard lily and amount sink. Lots of room, loads of space in this cupboard for all your bits and bobs. Now the switches for the undergunnel lights and the downlighters. So when you come in, you can turn them on from this way. Nice big rad. In here massive radiator so the bathroom is going to be lovely and warm when you get out the shower composting toilet from compost and the uh, breather for that and everything is out there that's another little uh, light we fitted up there um, just so you can see more clearly it's the standard ones there um, it's just the light that lets you know that it's full and then we've got our usual pull out airing cupboard which makes it a lot easier getting your towels and whatnot out of there nice big shower tray standard shower 
with our new mixers in solid solid brass bodies uh, on the on these new mixers but yeah real nice showers obviously you get your your uh, fan extractor fan in the shower mermaid wallboard yeah really nice showers obviously the switch for the built the um, pump is in there as well so you don't have to get out and switch that on and then we're in the main bedroom with our overheads door on the middle one most people are going for that now it's um it just keeps everything out of sight and tidy and then these are our usual ones with a with a little gas gas rams soft opening and then this is uh because they've got the composting toilet the storage under the bed is massive so it's our usual pull out setup so most people just pull the mattress over so you've got a five foot you can you can put a one foot um filler in there um which yep yeah, some people do a lot of people do so you've got a full five foot width bed but you can still walk down the side of it And then if you push it back, the whole thing lifts up one-handed. And of course you got no holding tank for the toilet on this one, so all that storage, which is dead easy to guess at. Yeah, you can fit a lot in there. Lots of storage. And then the back end, so we've got our battery set up, uh, hybrid batteries all the way across there underneath that. Uh, they wanted the same rear steps, bottom two, as the front two, because they've got the storage in. So we've done that for them. Top little steps, got the storage in, which you tend to put your uh, bits and bobs in for mooring. And then a massive wardrobe. So, shelves at the top, and then we've got, that will close, very slow closing, then we've got our drawers in the middle, and then hanging at the bottom with the hanging rail, and then the short door that side, so it does, you don't have to move the steps out of the way to get into that side. And then there's another nice little corner unit here with the mirror above it. Again, plenty of storage. Awful lot of storage on this boat. And then at the back here we've got, obviously that's the way out to, to the rear deck. Which is a bit dark. There we go, turn the light on. Yeah, it's got the outside lights on here. Torno covers on, so it's a, it's a bit dark in here. Anyway, there's the controls, that's where you steer it from. We've got the full colour monitor in. And then we've got that's your electrics covered with all your trips. Um, 240, 12, your Victron, Victron MPPT. It's got the full servo system on it as well, so it's, it monitors absolutely everything. So you've got your gauge levels uh, and it's it's the servo so we can monitor it from your phone from a laptop uh, just to see what your boat's doing gps as well so you can see where your boat is modern technology anyway there you go that's number 202 so I hope you enjoyed that little video. Thanks for everybody that subscribed. Um, thanks for everybody that watches the videos. And um, 
there is a another video going to come out soon with the little upgrade that um, Graham from Hybrid Marines done on the hybrid system. Uh, that's on number 200, Reginald, which I will do a video of that when I get a minute. We're obviously super busy, still catching up from uh, everything the last two years thrown at us, but we're getting there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.